All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a tool upgrade. I'm working on this Motive Products Power Bleeder. This is the kind of the white label type, but it apply to any of them that come with this kind of screw-in type connector. So what we want to do is we want to upgrade this so that we can quick change between different adapters. So that's all I'm going to show you today. If you find that useful, this is a great video for you to see how to do it. All right, let's get these old clamps off of here. I'm going to come in here with an Astro Nomadic tool that is designed to cut these. All right. Makes quick work of these kind of, same kind of things you'd find on a uh, CV axle, that sort of thing that holds the boot on. Just one little piece right there at the very bottom. There we go. All right, so now we can get this off. And we'll do the same thing on the other one. That one came off the first time. All right, pull that off of there. Take the hose off. Get the old clamp off. So this hose here goes to one of our adapters. And then this hose here goes to the actual bleeder. Get this guy off too. All right, so what are we going to replace this with? So you could, there's a number, number of ways you could do this. And I've also got another adapter sitting over here. And we're going to do the same thing on this guy in just a minute. So there's a number of ways you can do this, but I'm going to use the OEM parts here. So there's a kit from Motive, the 0400 AMTV. And what it's got is, it's got a um, special quick connect for these bleeders. And when you buy their products that have these adapters, it'll be compatible with their setup. It's going to be hard for me to do it just in my hand here, but you guys get the idea, right? It's kind of like an air hose, although it's not the same as an air hose. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to put these on here. Actually, <laughs> I had this on the wrong way, guys. Sorry about that. Just like that. All right, so just like an air hose kind of thing, but a little bit um, better because it's made of brass. So we're going to put those on, and then we're going to have a couple of those new clamps. All right, like that, just like the ones we cut off just like that go on a CV boot. And to put those kind of clamps on, you can use the same boot, same tools you have in your shop for putting the clamps on the boots, right? You can use one of these footed type. This is a Lyle. Or you can use a side type. This is also a Lyle, but there's just different ones of these. So this one crimps from the side, and this one crimps straight down. So all we're going to do to get ready for this is we're going to take the end of this hose that's all old and we're just going to slice it off and then we're going to put these new parts on. All right, so let's just cut off the kind of old part of the hose. It's got crimp marks all over it. Okay. And let's do the same thing on this one. All right. And then let's put the clamp and the fitting all the way down. And we got to get this guy to slide over it. Easier said than done, right? I need a little screwdriver to help give me a little push here. Let's go ahead and get this guy going. Now I'll go grab that separately. Okay, right, so that one went in just fine. So I go ahead and crimp this guy down. So we can look at how the factory has the old ones. We can see they crimp it about one down from the top. 
and leave about a half inch. So we'll do the same thing here. Grab it right about there. I'm just going to use this footed type, but it doesn't really matter. We can use the other one if we wanted to. And then just like you're putting on a CV axle boot, crimp it all the way down and you're done. So that one's on. Now this one, we need to just uh, kind of get a tool to help us work it down, put it about halfway, we'll crimp it separately. Let me go get that and then I'll show you how you can add or what the part is to add them onto the others. All right, what we're going to do with this stubborn guy is we're going to give a little spray of silicone. Now, something we know won't cause any harm to the hose and that should give us enough lube to get this guy to go down where we want to crimp him. At least that's the theory here. There we go. All right. So yeah, we're just going to put them about right in half. And then to do this one, I'll use the side ones just to show you you can use whatever you've got in your shop here. All right, so we'll grab this guy on the side like that. If you quit squirming on me. I'm going to try to get it where you guys can see right down here. If we zoom in, we can see the tool doing its job. Right in there. And we're just going to give it a crimp. Maybe a little bit more. Till it's too hard to do, right? And now we're done. Just like doing a, uh, a CV boot. Now we don't have to mess around with unscrewing these whenever we want to change them. So what if you got some more of these? Well, you know, same kind of deal in terms of taking them off. I, I love these Astro cutters for these types of clamps. on there tight 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 just gonna take some plastic lined pliers actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut it off with the whole thing why waste any time with it because we're gonna end up having to trim it anyway and for this one they make an 041 MTV for each of your accessories that didn't come with the Quick Connect to begin with. You can get these accessories with the Quick Connect. Some of them I have already have it. And that's why we're using these so that everything can match. So for the ones that don't have it, we want them to match. Put this guy on. Get him seated all the way to the bottom. Put this guy up on here. And then again, we'll just use the side cutters or side crimps. We could use the one with the foot, it doesn't matter. Boom, we're done. So now I'm going to do this to each one of the adapters that we have in the shop. And now we can easily swap between them without having to screw and unscrew them. So I hope this enlightens you to these accessories. You know, Motive has stuff like this. They don't really do a good job of pointing it out, in my opinion, but they've got it. I'll go ahead and put these numbers in the description if you're interested in doing some of these OEM upgrades to your Motive Power Bleeder setup. If you got questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. I'll try to help. If you found this useful, helps you get your system upgraded and made you aware of this kind of option, appreciate you paying it forward by hitting that like button. And as always, thanks for watching.